Before the video begins, hit the subscribe button, like it if you really did and share it amongst your friends. This will definitely make you fit. So let's begin with what I have first here. Now I have some boiled potatoes. Uh, it's 170 grams. It is important for you to know how much you consume in terms of nutrients. So you know how many nutrients are going in your body uh, because quantifying the diet is the first ever step and the most important step to get healthy and fit. So in this uh, plate there of 170 grams boiled potato, I have 2.7 grams of protein, 38.5 grams of carbs, 0.2 grams of fats and 2.9 grams of fiber. So total calories there is 165. Uh, I have the cold coffee over here. Uh, it's very easy to prep up. So that's a shaker in there. I've added some cocoa powder, added uh, stevia, uh, added a scoop and a, a spoon and a half of uh, coffee powder and mother's dairy live light uh, milk. Uh, these are the nutrients, 3.3 grams of protein, 5 grams of carbs, 1.3 grams of uh, uh, fats. It's 100 ml, so it's total of 47 calories. Now, this is the king of post-workout. Now, this is a dish that I just prepped up. I'll tell you how I made it. Uh, first, let's see what is the total amount of uh, nutrient that uh, it has. It's got 38.3 grams of protein, 7.7 .7 grams of uh, carbs, Fats 55.7 if you see carbohydrate is relatively lesser and fiber 2.9 grams so in total you're consuming 900 calories so uh, that's what you have there if you want to split it into two or three you can as per your BMR so total amount of protein you consume there is 44.3 carbs 51.1 fats 57.2 fiber 6 grams total calories around 900 so that's how uh, my post-workout meal for the day looks like in a frying pan I'll add a tablespoon of coconut cooking oil two chopped chili a teaspoon of chili powder salt to taste teaspoon of turmeric powder before lighting up the gas to fume it up it's now time to stir it well on a mild fume Till you see a paste and you feel a little uneasy with the fumes going straight into your nose because the oil is getting hotter. Have your paneer that is chopped in cubes, shred your spinach, almost a cup of spinach and one medium sized tomato. Keep them all ready because as the paste is getting ready, you have to do the very next thing. And that next thing is adding the tomatoes and the spinach to the paste and stir it really well so that the paste goes all across the veggies. After some time letting it cook, add the paneer and cook it while stirring it. It will absorb all the veggies and the paste till it's become golden yellow. And that's how you make the dish that I showed you in the beginning. So that was about it guys, the chatpata paneer recipe. I hope you guys liked it. The vegetarian brothers and sisters might have tried it as well. Uh, we, if in case you are a meat eater, if you want to make chatpata chicken, you can just add 100 grams of chicken breast instead of 200 grams of paneer. The 100 gram of chicken breast will have the same amount of uh, protein that the 200 gram paneer has. Why is it important for you to know the numbers of uh, the nutritional or the nutritional fact of what you're eating? It's absolutely important. Through this video, I'm going to tell you the importance and it's going to make a major impact in your health and fitness level. So please do not close the window. Please do not skip this video because the information I'm going to share right now is exceptionally vital and it will save you a pound or a dollar or a rupee if in case you're planning to go to a dietitian or a nutritionist. So let's talk about nutrition now. Why should we know what is the amount of protein, carbs, fat and fiber we're consuming? Let's talk about protein to begin with. You need to consume at least 1.5 to 2 grams of protein multiplied by your body weight in kgs. Why is that important? That's because protein basically helps you 
uh, tone your muscles up, have a good muscle definition because in the gym when you go, you do not basically build or grow your muscles in the gym. You tear them up. When you tear them up, your muscles are into a state of recovery. When they are in a state of recovery, they need the right set of nutrients. Protein builds it up. So women, if you're watching this video for females, a, a straight message, many females uh, have a, a tendency to think that if they consume a lot of protein, they'll become manly and develop big muscles. Not really, you're not going to do that. You become, you're going to become more graceful and more feminine and you're going to look exceptionally beautiful and aesthetic. For male, uh, because we have a higher amount of testosterone, when we consume a lot of protein, which is 1.5 to 2 grams multiplied by body weight, which means if I'm 70 kgs, I should consume minimum of 105 to 140 uh, grams of protein a day. Uh, why should I do that? Obviously, if I'm uh, interested in having a V taper back, a broad shoulder, chest, bicep, tricep, abs, I need to consume that much amount of protein. As far as carbohydrate is concerned, it's a very important uh, essential. It keeps you energetic, not just during your workout sessions because uh, I've made a couple of uh, meal recipes which could be used as a pre-workout as well that had good amount of carbohydrate. You need to have carbohydrate because it keeps you active throughout the day and it keeps you energetic. Uh, picking the right set of carbohydrate matters and eating it in a quantified manner matters again. Fats. Uh, there's a very thin line between good fat and bad fat. I'm not going to use the terms uh, which would complicate things like trans fat, polysaturated, monounsaturated, and stuff like that. Let's make it even to understand and let's make it easier to understand what is good, what is bad. There's an angel, there's a demon. There's a good side, there's a bad side. Let's talk about demons, what they generally do, what does the devil do. He tempts you, so you fall into his temptations and give in by showing you attractive things. Good fat is devil. Why? Because I'll give you an example. You walk by a, uh, by a sweet vendor or you walk by a junk food vendor. The aroma or the smell of the junk food that he makes in oil is so delicious and so yummy. These are like the sinful temptations that draw you towards that set of food. That's a temptation. That's bad fat. Sweet food? Again, they look very attractive. That's a devil in disguise, guys. It's attracting you towards it. Because you're going to ha go have it and end of the day, the calories you burn, you're just consuming them again. So avoid these sinful temptations. Don't fall prey to it. Opt for good fat, good fat in the form of uh, oil as well. I don't use regular uh, cooking oil. I use specifically coconut cooking oil. It's absolutely important to have those medium chain triglycerides in your meal so that uh, it keeps you satiated. It has loads of health benefits. And at the same time, uh, you know, it uh, has the fat burning effect as well on you. Good for your skin, hair, uh, for your overall lifestyle. Similarly, nuts, seeds, uh, paneer that I just had today, fish. These are certain form of uh, good fat uh, enriched with omega-3 and omega-6. So that's about the protein carbs fat. What about fiber? Why did I speak about fiber? It is very important for you to consume 20 to 20 around 30 grams of uh, fiber on a daily basis if you're consuming a lot of protein. Now many people who are watching this video could relate that when you're having a lot of protein, you have issues, uh, you know, when, you, uh, when you're emptying your bowels. Many people have issues like constipation and uh, it could turn adverse and bad uh, when you do not have enough fiber in your diet. Best way to identify fiber rich food Get your green veggies in the stack them in the fridge. Anything that is too green, luscious, that's the kind of vegetable you should opt for. Spinach being the king of uh, fiber. Similarly, broccoli, uh, fenugreek, many other vegetables. So uh, you know that has a lot of fiber. Now that about that's about protein, carbs, fat, and fiber. The very next question that you guys may have is how do you know how much protein, carbs, fat, fiber does a certain food have? Thank the internet guys because the internet would stop your way if you're planning to go to a dietitian or a nutritionist because there are loads and loads of tools available, loads of websites, even Wikipedia tells you the nutritional fact. All you have to do is 
know how much amount of protein, carbs, fat, fiber a food has by just entering the weight, the name of the food on Google and you get to see the nutritional fact over there. That's why it's important to weigh the amount of food that you're consuming. That's why it's important for you to quantify what you're consuming. And that's why it's important for you to know how much protein, carbs, fats you're consuming along, uh, along with the fiber. You, now, you know how to weigh, you know how to see how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat does a food has. But for your specific body type, how would you calculate how much to eat? Another, now the answer for that is BMR. If I have to uh, explain you what is BMR in a long form, it's basal metabolic rate. If I have to define what is BMR, in a simple layman's language, it is the amount of calories that you should be consuming in order to have your, uh, your internal organs, your external body to uh, function efficiently. So there are, again, thank the internet guys, because it tells you what your BMR is by a simple formula. If you just type BMR calculator, uh, you'll get the various links. I'll add a BMR calculator link in the description box below so you guys can see what your BMR is. Add your height, weight, age over there and your gender and it tells you what is the calories that you should be consuming if you're sedentary, if you're active, if your work is too strenuous. The figure that comes there is the amount that you have to consume on a daily basis. That is the amount of calories you need to consume. You know the thumb rule more amount of protein for muscle mass, good amount of carbohydrate for energy, good amount of healthy fat for efficient functioning of your heart and the other organs, and good amount of fiber for digestion. Best way to split this in a quantified ratio is have 40% so, uh, carbohydrate, 30% protein and 30% fat. As simple as that. Just some basic mathematics can get you fit. And that's why I always say, know what you eat to get fit. And that's our purpose. Our purpose is to train you all so you transform and you inspire others. That's why we strongly believe in our vision statement, train, transform, inspire. That was the dose of knowledge I had to share for the day. My name is Yogesh Onavarkar. I'm the founder of Team Legacy Fitness along with my co-founders Anand Kade and Adrian Lasrado. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, a reminder, hit the subscribe button hard if you've learned something new today and do spread the word, share the message amongst the crew, amongst every member who should know what is health, what is fitness, what is health, holistic living, what is natural transformation. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Uh, I appreciate your time. I sign off for the day. It's now time to show some love by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon. You will not miss out on any content and we'll be connected. I wish to make 1000 people fit every year, physically and mentally. In your post, if you use the hashtag TLF1000, we'll be able to see if we made an impact in your life or not. Alternatively, follow us on Instagram and Facebook with the handle name as Team Legacy Fitness.